Looks like the Jesus piece I used to rock before I went up north. It is. Had a jeweler give it a little upgrade for you. Be a welcome home gift would have been a proper introduction to that connect. Me and Drew are ready when he is. Yeah, I'll make that happen. See what I can do. I think we just started a fucking war. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're going to be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3. Was it Lorenzo's funeral or Zeke's? And we're talking about that teaser trailer. A lot of you guys was talking about this once they released it. Y'all saw that Jesus piece that Kane had on. And a lot of y'all thinking that maybe it's not Zeke's funeral. Maybe it was your boy Lorenzo. And we already talked about Lorenzo in the past. We talked about that he's on borrowed time. And it most likely is not going to end well for him. So we're going to talk about that in this video. Now remember, this is a fan theory. I did not catch this in the, you know, when I first did my teaser breakdown. You guys caught it. Now we're going to discuss it in this video. Now make sure you checked out my last few Power Book 2 Ghost videos. Yesterday we dropped the Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3. The description breakdown. The plot for this next upcoming season had a lot of details. So check it out if you have not seen it. And also check out the Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3 teaser breakdown video that I did a couple days ago. Everybody is just patiently waiting for Season 3. As I told y'all in the last video, it seems like everything is a little bit more darker. And your boy Tariq is definitely going to be challenged in this next upcoming season. Now, if you guys have any more fan theories based off that teaser trailer, leave it down below. I will look over them and we will discuss some more this upcoming week. But let's talk about this fan theory. Now, we know Kane in season two, he got Lorenzo's chain. He polished it up for him, upgraded it. It was looking real good, right? But we know Lorenzo, he wasn't that happy about it. He was more concerned about the plug and getting that connection with the plug. He was more concerned about moving up to the top spot. More importantly, moving Drew up to the top spot. And to be honest with you guys, Kane was pissed off because he did all of this. And he's like, man, Pop still will not give me my respects, right? And he's more concerned about making sure Drew is the one that's going to lead the family in the future. And that pisses Kane off. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Yes, Kane. He be on one. Y'all know Kane, all he worries about is Tariq and, you know, and having the top spot. But still, Kane, he was the one that had to connect to the plug. Regardless if it was Mecca or not, he had that. You know what I'm saying? So when Lorenzo came back talking about set the plug up and, you know, you should have did that. And he wants to make sure Drew was good and telling Kane, I want to talk to Drew by himself. I mean, I'd be pissed off too. I'd be like, hell nah. Matter of fact, I go do my own thing if I had to. Ain't no way. You about to sit up here and take advantage of all the work that I've done. Now, Mecca was smart because he used Kane against himself. He knew this would affect Kane. He knew by telling him, like, look, bring in your pops. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see what we can do. Working with his pops, telling him, nah, I'm good on Lorenzo and all this stuff. I mean, he used Kane against himself, his own, his own mind, and that really messed Kane up. But that goes to show you the experience that Mecca had, even though he was the goat of global snitching. Now, when it comes to the whole fan theory... A lot of you guys, you know, pointed out that at that funeral scene that we we're seeing them bring out that casket, we, of course, assume that, you know, maybe that's Zeke. Of course, Zeke got smoked last season, and we know most likely it's going to be a funeral. Now, a lot of fans did point out that Kane had on that Jesus piece, the same one that Lorenzo had in season two. So this is what started the whole fan theory, like, man, so... Could that actually be Lorenzo in that casket? You know, we got Drew up front and we got Kane up front, you know, helping out with the casket. So a lot of people just thinking. Then we like, where is Lorenzo in this picture? Now, remember, it's a teaser. All types of different things can happen in a teaser. When you actually watch the show, it can play out completely different. Now, we see Drew, Kane up front. We see in the very back, we can see Monet and we can see your girl, Dirty Diana. Now, the dude that's standing by Monet, that ain't Lorenzo. I don't know who that is, but that's not Lorenzo. That's somebody else. Now, this is why people are asking, where is Lorenzo? Because if he's not there, where the hell is he at? And why would Cain have on that Jesus piece? I mean, what is the reasoning behind that? We know Cain had issues with Lorenzo in season two. And even though he had those issues, 
he still didn't want to kill his pops. He did not want to take his pops out. He could not do it. He still had a lot of love for Lorenzo, but it's just sad for him because he's like, man, I want that respect from my from my dad, but I can't get it because he wants Drew to be at the top spot. He doesn't think Kane is that person to lead this family. So that really hurts Kane. But I'm pretty sure those issues will continue in season three with Lorenzo and Kane because they did not have the best season two. And Lorenzo was upset with Kane a lot last season. Now, in the teaser trailer, you can also see Kane, you know, staring down at somebody like he just beat him down. Now, the guy that we are seeing, it could be Lorenzo or it could be somebody else. But let's just say it is. What if it is Lorenzo? And he said, you know what, Pops? I'm tired of playing around with you. You know what I'm saying? I got to take the top spot. I got to take you out. Now, remember, we don't really know what the hell is going on. It's just a theory. Now, to be honest with you guys, I can't see Kane just beating his dad down and taking that chain and just letting him live. I don't see it playing out like that. It's only two reasons why he will have that chain on, in my opinion. And that is if Lorenzo was dead or Lorenzo somehow, some way just gave Kane the chain. But we shall see what they're going to do with this. Now, let's just say Lorenzo is in that casket. Lorenzo is dead, which it ain't going to really surprise anybody. But if that is the case, who did it? You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you guys, I don't want to see another father and son, you know, interaction as far as, you know, the father getting taken out by the son and all that stuff. I don't want to see that. I'm glad that they didn't have Kane do that last season because I'm tired of seeing it and I hope they don't do that in season two. And if Kane doesn't do it, of course, we know Monet, when she finds out the truth about Zeke, she's going to be pissed off. She could have been the one that done it as well. But maybe that's too easy of a theory. Now, in the past, I talked about Evelyn and her making some threats to Monet last season. Courtney Kemp, she pretty much confirmed that the things that she was telling the Monet was pretty much a threat, right? Now, I doubt that Evelyn was just in there talking, running her mouth. What she was saying is something that she will make happen. Your boy Lorenzo can be another body just like that. I mean, she lost, you know, Uncle Frankie, the rat. So, of course, she wants to take out her frustrations on Monet and her family. More importantly, Lorenzo, because she wants Monet to feel that same pain she felt when Frankie got taken out. Now, that's a theory that we've been talking about that could, you know, possibly happen next season. What do you guys think when it comes to this fan theory? At this funeral, do you guys believe that in that casket is Freaky Zeke or is it Lorenzo? To be honest with you guys, I'm like 50-50 because the fan theory, it does make sense. I mean, Kane does have on that Jesus piece. We don't see Lorenzo in this you know, particular picture right here. And it is kind of weird to me. You know what I'm saying? So y'all know how they do in these trailers, as I said time and time again. They make certain things look one way. And then when you watch it, you be like, damn, so that's why that happened. Oh, okay, I see what they was doing. They was trying to confuse us. But sometimes in these teaser trailers or official trailers, they do give us answers if you look a little bit closer. So we're going to find out very, very soon on what really went down um, as far as who's in that casket. And if your boy Lorenzo is really on borrowed time, I believe so. I don't think he got that much time left because he got entirely... Too many people coming for him because once Monet finds out the truth about Zeke, it's going to be hell to pay. And as I just mentioned, Evelyn, she ain't letting that go. She's coming for blood. We're going to see if she's going to bring that to him in this upcoming season. I did see people say in the past when I talked about Evelyn, some people said once Monet does find out the truth, they would not be surprised if she sets Lorenzo up to be taken out by Evelyn. But, you know, that could happen. But I would think something like that would be very, very personal for Monet. And she will most likely want to do that shit herself face to face, letting him know exactly what time it is. But we shall see. But you guys leave your theories, predictions, leave it all down below. We will continue to talk about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3, different fan theories and things that we saw in this teaser. I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.